Hey there and welcome back. So now that we have created our design, we have finished prototyping, it's time to share our project with other people. And these can be your colleagues, this can be your teammates, these can be your client or whatever it is. So how do we share this? Now there are two ways of sharing it. So let's share it. Now we can either go here to the properties and, sh and say share or manage shared links or we can click on this button over here which is going to do the same thing for us. So you can give a title to your project. So I've just named it tutorial and you can also drag in an image. So I just dragged in the Adobe XD logo as an image or you know you can just go and drag in. The second option we get over here is the start screen. So as you can see mine is uh, set at the login screen. If I choose for example the menu screen and then set this as the home and I can come over here it says start at the menu screen. So I'm just going to select this and select the login screen and there we go. Allow comments. So when people view your project, they can actually put on comments, give their honest feedback. Or if you don't want any comments, you can just uncheck that. And once we do that, we actually end up getting uh, one option. And once you do that, you will actually get an option called as create link. And uh, I actually already created a link, which is why I'm getting these two links. So I'm just going to click on new link for now. And it's going to go ahead and take a while and just create the shared link. And as you can see, as soon as it created, it gives you a link to open it on the browser or also embed it in your browser. Um, now I can go ahead and click on copy link, which is going to copy it to my clipboard and I can just paste it wherever I want. Or I can just click on the link over here and that's going to go ahead and open it up in my browser. And there you go. It's actually in my browser and it's going to work perfectly. If I just go ahead and click on sign up, it's going to give us the same animation, sign in, come back, click on continue and I click on the Avengers and uh, this is basically the, the exact animation which is pretty amazing. I literally love it. Now for example you just uh, go ahead and just click somewhere else. What actually happens is you can see this thing becomes highlighted. So what it, the browser is actually telling us is only this part is clickable. So I, if I click over here it doesn't allow me. I can just click over here it comes over here. Now if I click anywhere else you see these two get highlighted and uh, that's a pretty good way of sh uh, showing you guys where the actual links available are on the project. Now that's a pretty cool thing. If we come back to our main project and for example I don't want uh, to, I don't want a couple of things, I want to change a couple of colors after receiving some comments from some people. All I, go, all I got to do is just go ahead and make all the changes, come back over here and choose share again and this time I can click on update link. So when I get update link, I don't have to share the same link again. When they refresh the page, it's going to come with the updated changes. I can just click on update link and it's going to go ahead and update the share link rather than creating a new link. So I don't have a bunch of hundred links here and there, uh, you know, making it all here confusing for everybody. So there you go. We have our update link and uh, it's perfect. So now if I go ahead and click on manage links, that's going to open up my creator cloud assets library on the browser. And as you can see, I have my project over here and uh, every time I create a new link, a new prototype gets built in over here, uh, which I can easily share and, you know, just um, keep everything consistent and intact, make sure nothing's messy too much. So that's how we go ahead and share our projects to other people. So uh, thanks for watching this video. So I'll see you guys in the next video.